Okay. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Today is Thursday or Friday? Friday. Friday, July the fifth, and I have three gentlemen here who are taking ACI field testing technician grade one. The first two gentlemen are from a company called Petrochem, and the third gentleman from Tumber. Do we that? Precast. Precast. Okay. Can you introduce yourself? Yes, sir. Your name? My name is Daniel Davis. Petrochem, Jubail. Abdulillah Muhammad from Petrochem, Jubail. Okay. My name is Noor Fazal. I'm from Tumber Development Precast. Okay. Uh, uh, the reason I'm recording this is because uh, Petrochem company, when they communicated with me, they said they would like their two gentlemen to obtain uh, lab technician, uh, lab grade one and lab grade two. Now, lab grade one, okay, or technician level one, uh, requires to take field testing technician grade one, which they're taking now. Yes. Then it required a strength testing technician, which we, I will talk to management, maybe you will take next weekend. And then it will require aggregate uh, testing technician. And uh, we all know what is available in the strength testing technician. There is capping, there is strength of uh, cylinder. Uh, uh, after they finish those three courses, ACI will provide them with a new certificate, fourth certificate, which is called Lab Technician Level 1, without an exam. Now, their company want them to go into Lab Technician Level 2. So Lab Technician Level 2 requires them to take an additional course called Aggregate Testing Technician Level 2. So we find now that we have two Aggregate Testing Technicians. And I want to know what is the difference. In aggregate testing technician level one, uh, they are testing the basic uh, sampling, sieving, the fineness, uh, specific gravity, absorption, and so on, and moisture content of the, of the aggregates. So that is the basic requirements for testing the aggregate that you're going to use in your mixed design. Because level two is supposed to be a little higher, uh, they could include in it many items that are not included here, and they uh, include uh, uh, a lot of uh, more details about the shape and uh, the quality of the aggregate, and uh, whether they have abnormalities, and whether and drilling and sewing of the aggregates and beams and so on. So you can see that uh, uh, the ACI have taken aggregate level one for everybody. And then they decided that you go to aggregate level two, which means you will have uh, uh, much more depth in aggregate. And you all know that aggregate is very important in the next design. Yes. Actually, uh, whenever you wanna make very, very high strength aggregate. I remember I went to a lab in Norway and they were trying to make concrete which is above the strength of steel. So what they used was aggregate which is not the normal we know. They use sometimes steel aggregates, high strength steel aggregates. So you cannot make concrete that much, that strong if your aggregate is not strong enough. Sometimes the aggregate will limit how much strength you can get from the, from the concrete. And the aggregate shape, and the aggregate size, and the aggregate uh, distribution also has a huge influence on the quality of the concrete. Now to become a uh, lab technician, uh, to become lab technician level two, uh, there is an exam. So a concrete laboratory testing technician level two has also a, an exam which in a way includes everything that has not been included in the previous uh, in the previous levels uh, so the SEI really understands that not every engineer or every lab technician needs all those certifications 
but they need a lab technician. They need a person in the lab technician which has the, one of those qualities. So everybody has to be field testing technician grade one. And today I found out from the website that there are about 77,000 persons in, in America who has field testing technician grade one. And don't they forget that America's housing is wood. Most of their building is steel. Yes. So they don't use that much concrete. Not like us here, we use concrete all the time. That's so that's a very uh, high number for a country like the United States. Uh, so people are taking those courses. And uh, a lot of people are coming and they are telling me they are the quality control. You are quality yes, control. Sir. And the word quality control is still not clear. What is quality control? We have in Saudi now, if you are a civil engineer, and there is a requirement on the company to define one person as quality control, they will say, look, I know a quality control. So that is a position they put somebody in, but they don't give him the, um, the requirement of quality control. Now, the ACI has a quality control manager certification. And sadly, we don't have too many in Saudi Arabia who have quality control manager. Now, to be quality control manager, you need this course, which is a field testing technician complete a grade one. You need a strength testing technician. And then uh, you need a flat work technician. Flat work technician meaning you are you know how to make uh, roads and out of concrete and how to make slabs and airport airport floors and then you get to get the exam of the quality control manager and the quality control manager exam which is quite a big file it's an open book exam it's a six hour exam uh, three or four hours often uh, discuss quality control in general and uh, uh, two hours often, they, they call it a practical exam. They discuss mixed design. So quality control, in a way, you are responsible for the quality control of the mixed design and the quality control of the whole operation of construction. And you really have to know more than simply one line, which is the So, uh, So going into the path that your company Look is, which is great that the company is supporting you for it, really makes you a professional in the laboratory testing and laboratory management. And uh, you will need somebody in the lab who knows how to calibrate equipment, who knows how to, to even analyze the, the results, uh, how to evaluate uh, uh, any problems, how to look at coring, how to look at splitting of of, uh, of cold, uh, how to look at the quality of uh, the mixed design, the design impurities. So nobody can become expert in all of them. And this is why SEI has all those levels. Okay. So I wish you the best, right? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.